Uh, Antoinette Daly, the co-founder with the Australian Space Diversity Alliance. Thanks for joining us on Australian Space TV. It's lovely to be here and thank you so much for taking an interest in the work of the Space Diversity Alliance. It's such an important initiative for Australia. Easy do and I think uh, easy to do and I appreciate the outreach that you, ASDA has had in a short period of time. Uh, we were at the CubeSat uh, conference in Sydney just recently and uh, I'm, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing ASDA around and I think that voice for women in space needs to be uh, sort of spread around. And it's not just women in space. I know you have a diversity Absolutely. sort of broad uh, take. Maybe a little bit of background to ASDA, your co-founders uh, and how you've established yourselves. Absolutely. So very excitingly, we, we launched back in uh, March this year. Uh, we did a bit of a soft launch just to test the, the environment and the waters and the response from the Australian uh, community was just so wonderful. Everybody knows that this is needed. Uh, everybody's excited to see us grow. Um, and from those first steps in March, we made a decision that we really wanted to, um, to progressively grow. Uh, you might know that most people who are diverse tend to take the load of trying to spread the message of diversity yeah. and inclusion. Um, so many of our co-founders have got about a thousand hats. I know I've got multiple hats <laughs> yes. as well. Um, but most of us were just very excited about the opportunity to, to, whilst the space sector is so young and has this opportunity to kind of encourage diversity right from the start, it means that we can grow an industry here in Australia that has got those opportunities because we all know that diverse workforces bring better creativity, better collaboration, better decision making and retention of staff and that's what we kind of need for the space sector, uh, particularly as we're going through a bit of a rough patch I would say right now, uh, this is the perfect time to lean in to, to really go what can I do to make my organisation, the environment a safer place for everyone. Yep. So all, all my co-founders and now I've actually got an, a formal committee that we've established, right. we, we made sure that by July we wanted to be established and running like a proper organisation um, and doing really really well. We've got, uh, we've been at the last major conferences and events, uh, we'll be at the very important event in November later this year right. um, and we're, we're bringing all our people along too and it's lovely to see that so many people now are going where is the diversity? Where is the people of colour? Where are the, uh, not just white women, where are the, the other people around? Where are yep. indigenous people? And uh, we know that the STEM workforce is about 28% uh, female and about 1% for indigenous representation. Uh, and we know that STEM could do with so much more diversity and creativity. So we're quite excited about doing those types of initiatives, yeah. It's a, to maybe a question of, are you encouraged by the, the current diversity in terms of what's been uncovered initially, but then the challenge or the gap that you see for the industry because uh, I've raised it before, we cover, we cover cyber security in the security industry again and you see it's very similar. So it's, this is not a space orientated issue, it's across all industry sectors, particularly uh, the technology and STEM sectors as Absolutely. well. Yeah, The level of encouragement early, given the early days, but then also uh, sort of the challenges that you see before you. Absolutely. Um, Yes, it's a low benchmark to start from. I think women make about 20% of the, the space industry here in Australia. Um, so it means that we can only grow. Uh, and right now, you know, all people in leadership roles really respect and understand. I don't think we need to sell why it's important. Yep. I think that they are now looking and actively searching around to go, where is that talent? And instead of just doing what I call the simple look, they're, they're actually thinking about it. Yep. And I think that makes a big difference and it changes the way activities occur. So I'm really enthused by how other people have responded. I'd be really pleased to see leadership from the Australian Space Agency, particularly from Space uh, Command as well, who have all put in Yep. Um, some money to help us to really get some of those grassroots initiatives started to show that it makes a difference and then hopefully in a year or two's time we can see that incremental difference. The good news is that women and uh, people of diverse nature are taking up STEM subjects at school so what we need to do now is to make sure that when they go from school into the workforce we make sure that that workforce is a prime environment that's safe for them to feel like they can be and do everything that they want to do. Music to my ears in terms of reaching out to the schools because it's yep. really getting uh, that diversity early in STEM Absolutely. and feeding that, th that through. I suppose in the immediate term for both um, people, I I'll mention women in terms of that's yep, the focus that's in terms of my mind, in terms of either getting encouraging women to get involved with ASDA, uh, but I suppose what are you offering uh, both 
from a mentor, mentee kind of aspect, uh, and then beyond that, what, what's the sort of call to action, I suppose? Absolutely. So, uh, of course, if we can't get it right for women, then it's even harder problem for, for anybody True. of colour, because if, if women are 20%, then the others have even got a harder thing. So I feel like we're just going to bring the whole bucket up with us, <laughs> and if we raise women up, we're going to raise everybody else up at the same time. I think the call to action here is that uh, lots of people who are particularly younger and also older, like we're very much encouraging older people to, to come on board, use their expertise, show us where you know where the, the opportunities really are, lend their wisdom because you know uh, we've only got a few man, well, sorry, manpower, no, a few crew power to to actually make difference, and and sometimes that expertise is really really useful. And then of course we need doers uh, because uh, an hour time uh, from each one of our members is what they're kind of committed to do an hour a week for the next few months uh, and we think that that hour we can prove that you can do a lot and achieve a lot with that collective power. Wonderful well it's definitely one to watch I think Absolutely. it's one to reach out to as well uh, we run a lot of events and the like it's getting women participation and to allow them to showcase their, their skills and, and capabilities as well. So again, sometimes it's not so much hard, but uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure goes put on certain women and people of diversity because they are a go-to. They often say yes, uh, but it's also spreading that around and, and sort of uh, getting other people having responsibility. So we like to say yes, we do like to mentor and support people, but most importantly, uh, people of diverse nature need sponsorship. They yep. need to be put up on that stage and to be able to showcase their opportunities because they're often too shy, too quiet in the background to, to really raise their voice and to, to take that leap. And you know what, a shout out to you and to your team for, for being very considerate about this exact issue and uh, having thought about this well before conferences occurring to make sure that yep. that diversity is seen so that when people in the audience who are from whatever background and age can see themselves reflected there, that just means that they're more likely to stay. Look, and it makes all the difference. That's why we literally do do it. Sometimes it's a challenge, it but uh, you know, uh, when you get that diversity in you know, either a panel or a speaking lineup and the like, it just makes all the difference. Uh, and it's always better to have a lovely smile on, on, the, <laughs> on the channel too. Uh, Antoinette Daly or Annie Daly. Uh, with the Australian Space Diversity Alliance. Thank you so much for joining us. The inaugural appearance and probably not the last, I hope, on Australia Absolutely. and Space TV. Fabulous. Thank you.